in the last video we've covered how we've set up the project and where are these files coming from my folder is next.js 101 convert kit and here are all the files that i will just open in vs code and run yarn dev to spin up the dev server which will open localhost 3000 and the page like this so this is our starting point and the first thing we'll explore is the file structure the main important part to start with and for our demo is the index.js which is the home page component that will render when we visit the base URL okay so the name of this component doesn't really matter because we exporting it as default function this could be called whatever we want and then it's a simple react component that renders JSX the important part for SEO is the head component which is next next way how to define the SEO meta tags page title link fav icon link social media images so the head component is used for that if you want between pages to change the page title and all the other SEO meta tags you would do it inside of the head that you import from next head now we can try to duplicate the index call it page 2 and inside of it instead of next.js 101 change it to page 2 as well and when we save it and go back to the browser and visit page 2 we should see the same page of course with different text and also the document title changing so that's where the head component did its job and here is the content of the component itself okay so you can see how creating extra routes it's much more simpler than in the react app react app now to link these two pages we will need to use the next link component that takes the href okay so that's the url where we want to go in our case from the second page we want to go back to the home page and inside of it we'll have a simple a tag with the text of the link okay so this will be go home and the h tag doesn't need any other attributes it will be passed in from the next link so this is the minimum that we need to specify to go home but of course we need to import it so let's import link from next link and we'll do the same thing on the home page okay so let's add a link to page 2 and import it as well link from next link alrighty so now we should be able to navigate between the two pages using the next link as you can see this is a client side navigation there's no page refresh and everything happens very fast okay if i inspect it just so you know that there is no link component around this that only happens on the react side so the markup generated is just a simple href with the page that it, it's going to okay so that's how the href works or how the linking of two routes works so these were two hard-coded routes now let's create a folder call it customers and inside of it we will create the dynamic route segment which will take the id and dot js okay so these square brackets and id inside of it means that any route we visit so if we go slash customers slash one or two or three whatever id we pass into that will be then accessible inside of this component page component and we can then fetch the right customer data okay so let's do that we will copy the component from the index and then paste it inside of the id.js change the title and copy just the hard code id for now and uh, how we gonna get get access to the id from the url we will need to import a hook from next router the hook is called the use router so any anywhere where you want to use a router specific 
attributes you use the use router and then inside of the component you can create router variable that will be the use router and now we can destructure the router variable and get the id from the router.query okay so there is more that this router object has but for now i'm just going to show you how you can destructure the id from the query and render it inside of the component now if everything works fine and we visit the browser we visit this page in the browser and we should see the title being changed customer customers slash one two three or whatever id we pass in should render inside of the html okay so this is the dynamic routing any id we pass in let's change it to customer instead of customers usually it's a singular not pl pl plural and as you can see every id we pass in comes to that page as the prop and based on that you can then fetch the right data okay so that's dynamic route segments in action now a couple of things related to router and link if you need to give the link a specific class then the class name would go would go onto the a tag so the class name would go here my class would come here and if we're using tailwind we can uh, give the text red 400 that should change the color of this link on the id page to red let's go to customer 5856 and we see a red link so that's how you adding classes or any other attributes than href to the link and if you need to use external link then of course you would not use the next.js link component you would just put the href directly on the link so this would be this would be your external link okay so that's how we style that's how we link external i think i've covered a lot about that and there is one more thing related to the dynamic routes and if you want to catch all routes inside of the customer you can spread the id like this and then any id or any url not just the top level id but anything else oops would still resolve to the same component okay so another parameter coming here it would still resolve to the same id okay so there is more details about the routing of course going through the docs and searching for router is the best way to learn even more about it and here it is router more details what the object contains so i just wanted to touch base on uh, how you can link between two pages so feel free to explore it in more detail the same thing with the next link okay so we know how to link we know how to render multiple pages and routes and that wraps it up for this video so what we've done we've explored how to create multiple routes based on the file names as you know the name of this doesn't really matter but it's a good habit to name it in a way of what the page is it might be confusing if you then search and replace all home components and they are all in different files okay so make sure you name it as well we covered what the head does and how important it is for seo and changing the page titles we've set up multiple pages and we use the link to link between them and then we've set up the dynamic route where we are using the id from the url and rendering it on the page in our example but you can use it to fetch external data specific to that one id okay so hope that makes sense and i'll see you in the next video when we will start building our subscribe form and before i let you go let's go to the git section and revert all the changes we will not need this this was just example so let's revert all these three changes discard them and we have a clean code base again with the index page where we will be creating the form itself